Hi, Dr. Stephen Smith, and today's topic is osteoporosis and osteopenia. These are two huge problems we have in the United States, uh, especially in older women uh, that are thin. Uh, osteopenia just means uh, uh, less bone, and osteoporosis is severe bone loss. Um, we have tried many things to help this from a supplement standpoint and haven't been terribly successful until lately. And it's very important because in elderly women especially, if you have a hip fracture, uh, the survival rate of that is 50% at two years. So it's, it's a huge problem. And I believe it can be prevented. We have uh, done this, and I'm going to show you a case where we've done it and show you how we did it. The problem is a lot of the supplements out there have everything you need in them, but uh, since products are similar in their chemical composition, they don't, if one's absorbing, the other one does not. So for example, calcium and strontium are in the same family of elements, and when one, calcium's there, the strontium doesn't absorb. So if you put all of that into a single supplement, and you take it together, you'll get the calcium, but you won't get the strontium. So what do you need to build bone? Well, you need all the ingredients that are in bone, and the best place to get that is from bone marrow. And that's the product we use, which is called Cal Appetite. That supplies all the nutrients. But we found we have to add extra strontium, and we have to add it separate from the Cal Appetite, where it doesn't get absorbed because the calcium blocks that. We've also found that vitamin K2 is very important in the uh, building of bone. So what we've done is put together a protocol using Cal Appetite, a couple forms of vitamin K, and strontium, and we take those in a particular order, and then it works. And we'll show you some lab results for uh, bone scans to show you this demonstrated. What we're seeing here is a DEXA bone scan. It's the used to determine if there is osteopenia, which is uh, thinning of the bone, or osteoporosis, which is loss of more density, just a matter of de degrees. So just a, a little bit of uh, terminology. The T-score is how you compare to someone that's age 30. And as you'd expect, most of us are not going to do as well as someone that's 30 in our age group. The Z-score is how you compare it to someone in your age and sex. So, if you're 65, then they're 67. In this case, that's how you compare it to a 67-year-old. And then this is the change. And this one's important because, see, this change is minus 9. She is losing bone and continues to lose bone as compared to her previous change. Hip is not as bad. This patient's had compression fracture of her spine. So this is a serious matter. So we're going to compare this to another one after two years of treatment. It's the same patient. We've got the bone mass density. And look at this, point, plus 0.37. That's a huge improvement. Bone mass density. And again, the hip score is plus 2 since the previous. So whatever we're doing is working. And that's what we're going to talk about. And this uh, is a spreadsheet of that same information that you saw so that you can get a comparison between the two studies. So remember the T-score is the T score is the difference between a 30-year-old sex match control and the Z-score is some of your same age. And we're using mainly the T-score. And you can see if the minus number that's worse and a positive number that's positive. So this is how she's doing compared to a 30 year old. And now you notice it's still a minus and we expect it to be a minus, but it's positive compared to when age matched. And the bone density has gone up. The percent change is 3.7 and this one was worse than the one before, which we don't have here to show you. So this is the lumbar spine which is where she was having the most problem. And then this is the femur neck, and which is right where the bone comes out of the uh, hip. And the hip 
so it's gotten better here not as much here as it was over here but the total hip has made a big change 2.2 uh, percent change so you can see whatever we're doing is working quite well uh, for this patient over a period of two years okay you've seen the uh, results we've gotten with the uh, our bone builder protocol if you want to order it it's available at Agape nutrition and we have it with and without vitamin d and you save 10 percent when you buy the bundle so it's, it's probably the best to do that we also include some instructions on how to use